we have a catchment as shown. I wish to determine the aerial rainfall from the isohyets. These are the isohyets of a certain rain intensity in millimeters per month. 110, 120, 110, 100, 90, 80 and 70 millimeters per month. The corresponding intervals and interval middle are the first area 110 to 120, the next one 120 to 110, 110 to 100, 100 to 90, 90 to 80, 80 to 70, and the middles of the intervals are 115, 115, 105, 95, 85, and 75. Now you have to determine for each interval between the two isohyets the aerial surface within the catchment area. We do that for the first interval of 110, between 110 and 120. This would be the area within the catchment boundaries. And I've calculated that this is 23 square kilometers. And if we do that for the next area, it is 51 square kilometers. And one more. Hundred and four. And for the others, it is 88, 80, and 26 square kilometers, with, with a total of 372 square kilometers. For each of these areas, we can determine the proportion to the total area, which is 23 over 372, and 51 over 372, etc. The aerial rainfall is now the sum of the proportion of the rain of each area, and therefore we use the interval middle. So for the first interval, from 110 to 120, the middle is 115 times the, the proportion of the area, plus for the next interval with also a middle of 115 times 51 over 372, and for the next area, Interval middle, 105, times 5. And for the last interval, 75 is the interval middle times the proportion of the area. Adding these values up and do some calculations gives aerial rainfall of 98 millimeters per month.